Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Hi folks, welcome to the another video in Kotlin. In the previous video, we saw how to work with abstract classes. Uh, for example, we had created this class called as animal and if you look at the hierarchy of the classes, we had some other classes uh, called as wild animal and domestic animal, both of which extended the animal abstract class. And then we had some concrete classes here like for example dog and cat uh, which were extending the domestic animal and if you have a look at domestic animal is a open class which extends animal class which is an abstract class and in the same way wild animal is an abstract class which extends animal class. So we pretty much had seen how to work with the abstract class extending an another abstract class a concrete class extending an abstract class and abstract classes with abstract properties. In this video, we will have a look at working with interfaces. If you are coming from Java background, uh, interfaces are not completely new to you. Now the question is how do we create an interface? How do you declare an interface and what can you define and not define inside an interface? That's the question that we will be working with. So we will just use this structure to just extend our concept with respect to interfaces. So let me create an interface here. Let that interface be called as climber. Let me refactor this climber. This particular interface need to have a function. For example, I can create a function called as climb and then I can immediately define this particular function as well. That is give the implementation of this particular function in an interface. So this is the major difference between an interface in Kotlin and an interface in Java. But this is not something that we are interested in right now. So I can just remove this and you can even put the keyword abstract in front of the function declaration, but this is not really necessary. And as you can see here, if you just point it here, it will give you warning saying that abstract modifier is redundant because when you declare function inside an interface that is with the intention of extending or overriding that particular function in the subclass, any subclass that will be implementing this climber interface. We can now go to the cat. This particular cat is not only a domestic animal, it is a climber because it can climb a tree. So is the case with the tiger. So we can basically make both of this tiger and cat as subclasses of the climber interface. So how do I do that? So I, I can just go here and say climber here. So this particular cat class now extends domestic animal and also implements the climber interface. And when you do that, you have to give the implementation. Otherwise it will give a compile time error. So you can see that the error here is implement the members. So just let me click on that and it will suggest climb method or function needs to be implemented. So let me just print animal type climbs. I am basically saying that the cat climbs and I can pretty much do the same thing with tiger class here that is it is a wild animal and also extends or implements the climber interface as a part of that I have to implement the climb function and then let me just copy this and paste it here and now if I go to the inheritance demo and let me make it cat so animal make sound works perfectly fine. But what we are interested in is seeing the climb behavior. So we have to basically typecast it into a climber. So animal as climber, that is the typecast that you are looking at dot climb. If I run this and as you can see here, we are getting the output as cat climbs. We can improvise on this. Uh, if you can go to this climber interface, we can have a abstract property here just like we had an abstract property in an abstract class. So let me call it as val climber of and it is of type string. So you need not have to put the abstract keyword in front of the declaration of this particular property. It is automatically understood that it is a abstract property when you do that in the interface. Now how do I use this? Well let me go to the implementation of cat here. As you can see here, I am getting a 
compile time error saying that the climber of abstract val is not implemented so you can click on implement as constructor parameters so climber of select that so it will automatically add the climber of value to the cat class and i can just copy this and do the same with tiger as well because here also we would be having the same problem and now if you go to the implementation of those classes we can say animal type climbs climber of and now you go to the implementation here cat is climber of i can say trees and let me run it you can see that cat climbs trees so let me fix the tiger as well go to the inheritance demo and change this to say tiger and what are the parameters animal type is a tiger and it is a climber of say huge trees and if i run this you should be able to see the difference that is now tiger makes roaring sound and tiger climbs huge trees we can improve on this uh, that is right now we have the climber and if you look at the class hierarchy of climber we have this tiger and cat the tiger comes under wild animal and cat comes under domestic animal but both of them are climbers i think basically almost all cats are climbers so what we can do is we can basically create a abstract class which extends climber and we can make the tiger and cat extend that particular abstract class so let me do that so let me create a new class called as cats and let this be abstract class that extends climber interface and this abstract class can provide the implementation of climb and we can just copy paste this from here and cats can receive the climber of and can write climbs climber of and now i can go to the cat and instead of extending climber i will try to extend cats and pass the climber of value but you will see a compile time error uh, saying that only one class may appear in the super type because this cats is a abstract class so i need to change it to interface and that should fix it now going back to the cat just remove this and do the same with tiger and it will still work perfectly fine and instead of typecasting it to climber i can typecast it to cats and that should also work perfectly fine now there is another thing that you need to be aware when it comes to inheritance with interfaces that is how to resolve the interface method calls if there is a multiple inheritance involved so what do i mean by that let's assume that there is a interface a with method foo and then we have interface b and interface c both of which extend interface a and then there is another interface called d which extends both interface b and c this is quite possible because an interface can extend multiple interfaces or for that matter a class can implement multiple interfaces so in that case when a method foo gets called which is it actually getting called is it from interface c or interface b so this is basically a kind of conflict and we have to resolve it and we shall see how to do it in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye